Hello and welcome to another episode of My Point 3 Garage. Today we're going to be putting in a Redline Tuning Max Lift Plus kit on our 2021 Bronco hood because uh, we were changing the oil not too long ago and uh, the prop rod for the hood for the new Bronco is in a really bad place. I think all prop rods are in bad places. This is a hundred bucks. It's a super easy install and there's no reason why you shouldn't do the same. You can buy it from just about anywhere, but I'll put the link in the description where we got it. And let's go stick it on. It only takes a few minutes. Uh, so let's open this up and see what comes in it. All right, so we got one of our mounts. Looks like we have our two upper mounts, our two lower mounts. Again, nice packaging. You would expect these things to just be thrown in a box. And then a full set of instructions with pictures. So this, this will be a breeze. I might actually follow these instructions. These are good. All you need is a 13 millimeter socket and uh, you're gonna use the second hole up here. So not this hole, but this hole, you're gonna use that one. You're gonna put the top mount in here and then right down in here on both sides, there's another 13 millimeter bolt that goes to the hood hinge. You're gonna remove the front one and then we're gonna move this wire out of the way a little bit so it doesn't interfere. And then we're gonna put the lower mount in here and then we're gonna attach the prop rod and it's gonna be that easy. Okay, first, this jam nut that's on the end is symmetrical. So you're just gonna loosen that up, slide that in, and then you're gonna slide it up as far as it'll go towards the front of the hood. Tighten that up. Now I'm gonna to switch to a deeper socket so I can get it over the top here, still 13 millimeter. We're gonna tighten that up. Yeah, good and tight. And I'm gonna pull on this wire just a little bit to get a little bit more slack in the, in the wire. And then push it down and out of the way so I can get to that nut right there. We're gonna put our 13 millimeter in here. We're gonna loosen this bolt on the very front of the hinge. Remove that bolt. You're actually gonna grab the bracket that faces inside the engine bay. Uh, so this side is the driver's side and it faces towards the passenger side. The opposite is gonna be true for the passenger facing towards the driver. And before you put the bracket in, you're gonna to need to grab a screwdriver or a pair of needle nose pliers and remove this harness right here because it's in the way of the bracket when you install it. All right, and then take your bolt, stick it right into the bracket. Tighten it down. Snap the wiring loom back in. And then run the loom underneath the bracket so that it's out of the way of the lift. And then last, the piston is actually gonna go in this orientation with the larger end up. And you're gonna take the smaller end right on top of here and just very gently rock it back and forth until it locks into place. Don't push it on, just rock it back and forth. There we go, just like that. And then we're gonna come up here, lift the hood, and we're gonna do the same thing on the upper hood. Compress this just a little bit, just like that. Now that we've got that side done, we're gonna let it come down. And we're gonna let that rest for a second while we do the other side and then we're gonna test it. All right, installation is complete, and uh, obviously this is way better. Tons more room for activities inside the engine bay here, which we're gonna need. The last thing would be this prop rod. You can just leave this prop rod attached, but I see lots of rattles with this. So we're gonna take ours off. Four inch extension and a 10 millimeter bolt. And this thing is off. And we're good to go. So let's check this thing and see what we got. Ooh. That, that's a wrap from Ma Point 3 Garage. Thank you to Redline Tuning for engineering such a great bracket system to get these things on there easily. This whole process takes about 20 minutes. Check out our other Bronco videos over here on the end screen. And we'll see you in the next video.